Hello, this is Pat Obi, and this presentation takes you through the basic financial mathematics of time value of money, also referred to as discounted cash flow analysis. All calculations will feature manual computation, financial calculator, specifically the Texas Instruments, BA2+, and spreadsheet functions. So here's the outline and notations that we're going to be using throughout the presentations. So in finance, we argue that the goal of the firm is to maximize shareholder wealth, which is done by maximizing the value of the firm for the firm's owners. The key word here is value, the determinants of which are expected cash flows, the period of investment, and the required rate of return on the investments, which is the cost of capital. And this cost of capital is what reflects the risk of expected cash flows from the underlying investments. All right, the value of an investment can be calculated either as future value in the sense that you do have some investments to make today and you're asking, well, what's the worth? or what's the value of this investment at some point in the future. Or it could also be present value, in which case you're asking the question, such as if I'm expecting some bunch of money at some point in the future, uh, what's the value of it today? Our first set of examples show future value calculations of a single cash flow as illustrated here. In this example, you have $500 to invest and you wish to invest it for one year at 8%. It's going to come out to be $540 at the end of one year. So how did we get this future value of $540? Well, first off, keep in mind that you're going to get your principal back which is this $500, this today's cash flow at time zero, which is also present value. Additionally, you're going to get your interest payments of $40, which is 8% of $500. So I've color coded this to delineate the two aspects of cash flows that make up the future value of $540. Now notice that this $500 that appears here twice in this calculation of future value can be actually factored out to simplify and this is going to come out to be 500 multiplied by the constant 1 plus the interest rate of 8 percent so this 1 plus the interest rate of 8 percent is 1.08 which is called the future value interest factor so as you can see, quite so simply stated, by multiplying the uh, present value of 500 by the future value interest factor of 1.08, you s quickly get your future value. So this is the logic that defines the future value formula, which is generalized here, equal to the current cash flow, or if you like, the present value of, of the amount multiplied by the future value interest factor um, over the period in of investment. So what does this really tell us? Well, the significance is that if you can earn 8% over a one-year period, the amounts $500 today and $540 a year from now have the same value, so you should be indifferent. We can also accomplish this task using the BA2 plus calculator. Let's go there. Bring it up. So four things that you need to know about this calculator. First of all, I do recommend that you set your decimal places to at least four or five. Just that, that way you can see a little bit more on the screen. To do so, you want to use the format key. But notice that the format key is on the floor of the calculator. Anything on the floor of the calculator is a second function. So you're going to have to uh, use the second key to um, reference that uh, function. So second and then click this key. Right now it's set to two decimal places by default so let's change that to five. So click on five and enter. That's it. And then to quit, second and quit. Since it's a second function you could also clear just by hitting this button right here. The second is make sure that this key right here, P over Y, I over Y is set to one. So this P over Y is the number of 
um, payments per year uh, corresponding to the interest payments uh, per, per year so let's check into that so second and clear hit this key okay mine is set to one if yours is not one just type one and then enter to make it permanently set to one so let's get out of here right now the third is notice that there are two rows of keys that pertain to financial calculations the second and the third the second is to be used when you're dealing with cash flows of different amounts over a defined number of periods the third is to be used when you have single cash flows in the form of a present value a future value or annuity payments in this case we do have a single uh, cash flow uh, present value so that's um, we're going to use the buttons on the third row of keys. And the fourth and final thing to note is that prior to performing any analysis on this instrument, you're going to have to clear time value of money, this TVM right here. You're, you should also clear work, both of which are second functions. So we're going to hit second, hit this key, and then second, you hit this key. This clears the system and prepares it for the next set of uh, analysis that you're about to do. If you do not do so, whatever you did in the past may mess up what you're going to do subsequently. So having done that, let's go ahead and rock and roll. So type in 500 and hit the plus minus key to put a negative in front of it. That way the result that you're seeking, the future value is going to come out positive. It's not such a big deal, but it's a good practice um, to uh, to keep to because remember this is an equation so when what's on the right side moves over to the left um, this is gonna have to change sign so that's just what we're observing that's how the algorithm here is programmed so let's go ahead and hit uh, PV since it's a present amount and then next up one alright one is the number of periods so type one and hit N and then finally eight all right, eight is our rate, right? So you go ahead and hit one over i, one of y, and you're done. You could actually enter these uh, uh, amounts in any order, right? So go ahead and and compute FV. So we hit compute, and we hit FV, and that's the answer that we seek, and that's all she wrote.